Morning, frightening new details about a so-called kill list. Fuquay Verena High School there. Uh, tonight, search warrants obtained by CBS North Carolina outline the threat. Our Steve Sprasia joins us now with reaction to that chilling list. Steve? Well, Sean, we now know the police began a criminal investigation after discovering that two students here at the school actually put together a list detailing other students' classmates that would be harmed. And late this afternoon, the town's police chief issued an online statement saying 16-year-old George Willis of Anger has been charged in connection with the case. It's frightening that there's actually a list out there from kids who want to kill other kids. It's almost reminiscent of Columbine. It's ridiculously scary. Fuquay Verena resident Kim Quinn referring to the police investigation into a March 16th incident where warrants say police were told a kill list was prepared and that two separate juvenile students were advised on the existence of the list by the creator. As extra police showed up at the school on March 17th, the story took on a life of its own. On Facebook, it, it blew up. Like, I know some things were blown out of proportion on Facebook. That prompted school officials and police to release statements saying that there was no credible threat and no actual danger to any student. School officials also said no weapon or overt act occurred at the school. But the buzz around this small town was huge as folks here began wondering what was happening. They were just really concerned about what was going on and no one was really giving any answers. So then they just started speculating what was going on and then rumors started flying and then it just went all craziness and warrants released today say police were concerned because of what one suspect said AG suspect 2 advised that GW suspect 1 was going to use his parents firearm to carry out the plan and I was glad to know that law enforcement were there and they took it serious and they did their job a suspect, George Willis, is currently being charged and held on two counts of communicating threats. And we understand, according to the warrants, he is now receiving treatment at an addiction center. In the meantime, in her online statement, the police chief says the investigation is continuing and further charges could be forthcoming. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.